Hello everyone, this is Anyman reminding you that you have the power. Today we learn a little bit more about that power from Daniel Smith's book, How to Think Like Sherlock. Improve your powers of observation, memory, and deduction. Last time we discussed Sherlock's personality and Preparing the Mind by Understanding Sherlock. Today, we develop an agile mind. I am a brain, Watson. The rest of me is a mere appendix from the adventure of the Mazarin Stone. While Holmes's personality and motivations are endlessly interesting enigmas, were it not for his remarkable intellectual capacity, you would not be here reading about him. There are plenty of interesting characters in life and literature, but very few able to solve an apparently unsolvable riddle like the great detective. Alas, few of us can ever hope to match Holmes in the bulging brains department. That need not be a source of shame, though, for has there ever been a more penetrating intellect in literature than Holmes? You have brought detection as near an exact science as it ever will be brought in this world, Watson told him in a study in Scarlet a piece of flattery that had even Holmes flushed up with pleasure. Detection is, or ought to be, an exact science, and should be treated in the same cold and unemotional manner Holmes himself would declare in the sign of four. However, do not be fooled into thinking that Holmes is only concerned with cold analysis and the weighing up of empirical evidence. Holmes talked about his work as much in terms of art as science. It was a sentiment he returned to in The Problem of Thor Bridge, when he spoke of that mixture of imagination and reality which is the basis of my art. In The Valley of Fear, he reiterated the necessity for creative thinking. How often is imagination the mother of truth? The great news is that if you don't feel like you are using your gray matter to Holmesian levels, you can train it to work better for you. This is not some self-help claptrap, but scientifically proven fact. The brain is incredibly durable and can grow and change to cope with any number of new demands made upon it. You just have to make sure you get it into shape to meet new challenges. Do you want proof? How about London's registered taxicab drivers? To join the profession, applicants must undertake years of study known as the knowledge, learning some 320 key routes encompassing thousands of streets within a six-mile radius of Charing Cross in central London. Research students of the knowledge have typically shown an increase in the volume of the hippocampus, a part of the brain integral to memory. The most famous winner of the television quiz was the 1980 champion Fred Husego, a cabbie who kept up his license even after becoming a media celebrity. No wonder Holmes was accustomed to seeking out handsome cab drivers as fonts of information in so many of his cases. Warming up. Regularly exercising your brain by playing mental games and doing quizzes has been shown to offer defense against dementia in older people. But you are never too young to get into the habit. Here is a mixture of word and number games. Quiz 1. Letter Scramble. Can you rearrange the letters to spell four Holmes-related words? Each letter should be used exactly once in the resulting set. There are two words to find on this page and two on page 28. We are on page 27. Starting with the topmost letter and working our way around in a clockwise fashion, we see S, S, L, C, K, R, H, T, L, E, M, O, D, H, O, O, S, A, R, N, W, E. On page 28, again, working our way from the top around in a clockwise fashion, we find A, G, S, D, Y, O, Y, I, L, R, S, G, F, A, I, C, T, M, S, G, N, N, A, N, 
L D A. Quiz 2, Number Sequences. Have a look at the following sequences of numbers. Complete the sequence in each case. The first sequence is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, blank. The second sequence is 3, 9, 27, 81, 243, blank. The third sequence is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, blank. The fourth sequence is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, blank. The fifth sequence is 12, 33, 14, 30, 16, 27, 18, 24, 20, 21, blank. The sixth sequence is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, blank. The seventh sequence is 42,339, 648, 192, 18, blank. Quiz 3. Word ladders. Here are a couple of word ladders. Starting with the word at the top of each ladder, can you change a single letter at a time to create a new word on each rung and arrive at the word at the foot of the ladder? Number 1 has the word cat. There are four spaces down, and the last word is kid. Number 2 has the word game. There are five spaces down, and the last word is foot. Quiz 4. Word wheel. To finish off your initial mental stretches, here is a word wheel. Copy it quickly onto a separate piece of paper. Each answer begins at the outside of the wheel and ends with a T at the center. When you have finished, the letters around the edge of the wheel should spell a familiar name. The wheel is divided up into eight sections, like the slices of a pie. Each section is divided into fourths, and they all meet with a T in the middle. One. The first one is a first version. Two. The second one is Sunday lunch. Three. The third one is a popular card game. Four. The fourth one is the head of a monastery. Five. The fifth one is a characteristic. Six. The sixth one is an animal once prized for its fur. 7. The seventh one is not discreet. 8. The eighth one is as dark as... Finish the sentence. Remember that they are all five letters long, and they all have a T at the end, which is the middle of the word wheel. This has been the third section and a series of brain training games from the book How to Think Like Sherlock, Improve Your Powers of Observation, Memory, and Deduction by Daniel Smith. And without going into any advertisements, Lumosity.com is a good resource for other brain training games. You will find other resources listed below. This is any man reminding you that you have the power. Use it wisely and use it well.